Hi, welcome to MBA 512 Strategic Management for the Winter 2019. So this is a very important video to watch. Watch this video to the completion because I'm going to go over everything you need to know about doing well in this course and what you need to do each week for this course. So let's start out. We're going to follow the menu path. So the first menu path is announcements. So as you scroll down, it's important to read all the announcements. So this is the first announcement. Getting started with MBA 512 which I give you five things to do first. One, see the syllabus on the menu and review our class objectives. Read the syllabus completely. See assignments in the menu tab um, to submit case study homework assignments. Three, see discussions on the menu tab to, boost, to post and reply to our class discussion topics. Four, see Zoom simulation on uh, the menu tab to register and play. And five, watch the Getting Started video, which you're doing now. Okay, next announcement is discussion board participation. So I'm going to be putting up two discussion board questions per week. So each week you'll have part one and part two. And each discussion board question is going to be worth three points. So there'll be six discussion board questions, two per week. Each discussion board question is worth three points. Uh, now we're going to go to... The, you got to see the discussions menu button. We'll go to that in a minute on the Blackboard menu. I expect every student to post one original response to the questions and at least two replies to other students' posts. And each post should be roughly 100 to 200 words as a minimum. You can certainly do much more than that. And you earn points for your participation and the quality of your answers and replies. So replying to somebody yes or no that would not count towards anything. So it's really the quality and the participation. So I'm setting a bare minimum here. Uh, I would be very happy if you participated more and really enjoyed the discussion boards because I crafted some really good questions that will help with our learning and help with um, the understanding of strategy and help get you to understand and know some of the students in the class. All right, the third discussion, uh, the third announcement is Zoom simulation. So Zoom simulation is a strategy simulation. The value is 15 points. So each student will be a team of one. So you're not, you're just going to work alone. Uh, so you're going to create your own team. You're going to be the only person on that team. And to register, you're going to go to uh, zoomsim.net or you can click the menu button I'm going to set up. The class code is going to be January 19th or Jan 19. And here is our classroom competition schedule. So we go from January 9th is the first round, 11th, 16th, 18th, 23rd, and 25th. So we're going to do six rounds. Each round is due by 11.30 p.m. at night. And the simulation is graded. So your performance, if you earn over 2,500 points, you get the full 15 points for this assignment. And then as you earn less points uh, in the overview, total cumulative overview points, so every round you earn overview, overview points, they get added together. And the amount of points you earn would be um, listed on this table, which converts the points in the assignment that you earn. Okay, and there will be no reflective observation boxes for this winter class. And I have a link here on what not to do in the simulation. A couple of, I made some YouTube videos on the simulation to help with getting started, understanding how the simulation works. Um, you can start with this first video here, YouTube getting started video up here. But remember that our class code is January uh, Jan 19. If you in the video see other class codes, I may have recorded them with other classes in mind. So just keep that in mind that this is our set of instructions for our course. Other courses may have other sets of instructions. So just when you watch those videos, learn about the basics of the simulation. But if I mention anything about an assignment due this week or next week, just ignore that for, for these simulation videos. Okay, so and then I follow up with a easy schedule for each week. So each week I will list the chapters that you should read, the videos you should watch, and remind you to post on the discussion board. So if you look through this announcement, you'll see all how each three weeks are laid out for chapters to read and um, videos to watch. And then later in the class, um, I will post a uh, final exam instructions and review soon so you can understand what the final exam is about and how to do that and post it and everything. 
Uh, second, with moving down, this is the menu. Whenever I say the menu buttons, these are the menu buttons. So moving to the syllabus. So if you move into the syllabus, this is the syllabus for the class. It's an asynchronous class, so which means we're not going to meet face-to-face -face in any instance. So we're not going to meet online. We're not going to meet in the classroom. Everything is completely, you work at your pace to complete the assignments by their due dates. Now, the, the course description, I want you to read over the course description and our learning goals for the class and how we're going to accomplish those learning goals, how we're going to spend our class time. There are two textbooks. Both of them are low-priced textbooks um, for the budget-minded student. So the first uh, textbook is Strategic Management Theory and Practice. So this is the this is a this is a all the fundamentals of strategy, uh, traditional strategy, are in this book, and you can get that by clicking on this link um, to get that book. And it's an online book, and it's very affordable. Now, book two, Blue Ocean Strategy is a mass media book that you can get online in any bookstore. You could probably go to a bookstore and probably be in the bookstore. So it's a New York Times bestseller, Blue Ocean Strategy, and that's more about current ideas and concepts and strategy. Okay, so assignments would be on Blackboard, so the grades are as follows. 18 points for participation in the discussion boards, 30 points for the mini cases, um, so basically 10 points each week and 37 points for the online final exam and 15 points for the simulation and that gets you to 100 points for the course. This is our grade scale. Um, so the test will be, there will be one online test and the test will be based on material from the textbook. For dates and times of the exam, I will post that in announcements closer to when the class is actually started. And the format will be essay and short answer and you'll have um, I think I'll give you a number of days to complete, more than two, definitely. Okay, so then we talk about participation in the uh, discussion board, and it's very important to participate in a genuine and, and a high quality level and respectful level to other students. Um, and then I go over the weekly class schedule again. This is also posted on to announcements and talk about academic dishonesty. So you should read over this syllabus in its entirety when you have a chance. Now, moving on to the menu button, I'm going to, you know, be listing all the links to all the videos to watch for this class. But an easier way, if you click class video lectures here, it's going to pop up a YouTube screen. And on this YouTube screen, I'm going to have all of the videos um, for the class listed on this YouTube screen. And you can subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel and the playlists. So that way, if I do post anything new or when the class is running, I usually post videos for the Zoom simulation and different things. You, um, the progress of the simulation, you want to go get, want to be able to see and get those latest uh, videos as they pop up and get a, an announcement for them. Okay, so that's the easiest way to, and they're all in order of the chapters and how we're covering them. And I actually have some guest lecturers coming in. The author of the Blue Ocean Strategy has a six-minute lecture for us, and I have a colleague from the University of San Diego doing a uh, presentation on the Blue Ocean Strategy as well. So very exciting lecture list for us. Then let's move the course documents. So in course documents, we have, uh, we're going to have a, a case study example. We're going to have the PowerPoints for the Strategic Management and Blue Ocean textbook. And I also have the end of the chapter answers to the practice true and false and multiple choice questions. So at the end of each chapter in the book, they'll have true and false and multiple choice questions. A great way to study for the exam. And I'm going to post those here. So actually, let me turn this on. Okay, so there will be, this is a case study example. This is a pretty elaborate case study example, but just an idea of how a format you can complete the case study in. And the PowerPoints are going to be listed out for both textbooks. This is the first textbook and the second textbook. And of course, the end of the chapter answers to the end of the chapter practice questions, which I think is a great way to study for the exam. Moving on to the next menu button is called Zoom Simulation. You should click this open, and it's going to bring you into the Zoom Simulation. Uh, this is what it looks like. And you're going to click on Register. And you register as a student. You're going to complete the registration. Click You're Not a Robot. Step two will be a payment. Step three will be a class selection. In the class selection, you're going to just look for my last name, Nugent, and then select J-A-N. 
one nine as a class code and then the team selection so for the team selection you're going to click on classroom competition and you're going to be a team of one so you're going to create your team and then you're going to start competing okay let's move back to and of course you click this button to register to get this process moving and word to the wise pick a username and password that you can easily remember or write it down somewhere so you don't forget it all right so that's the zoom simulation button and then we have the assignments button so in the assignments button is where we're going to have the case studies for each week so these case studies are located in the back of the chapters of the textbook so for week one we're going to be covering Costco Home Depot and Amazon as our cases for week one and so I, I do note that at the end of each of the chapters that the these cases that you read are at the end of then they want you to answer these questions so it's going to be you know a rather lengthy document and when you're done when you write your document out you want to click on this link here and then click on down here you'll see a browse my computer this is where you can attach the file so once you write it up in word or powerpoint no, i'm sorry not powerpoint word or, or pdf file those are the two formats i can accept word or pdf you submit it by clicking browse my computer and then you would click on this submit button to submit the uh, file to me okay let's go back to assignments so we have week one cases and then we have week two cases starbucks papa john's and fedex and then we have week three cases so we have three mini these are really mini cases um, nike southwest and jack in a box um, for each of the weeks and let's see here there's instructions on how to uh, attach the file always keep a backup file always put your name on the file and then um, that will have will should have no problems but keep in mind i accept no late assignments so do not submit these you can't submit these late the links will disappear and i do not accept any late assignments so be very careful of that and finally let's go to the discussions tab so here is the discussions tab for the class so you'll see that there is a, a discussion tab for class questions there's a discussion tab for discussion question week one discussion question I usually abbreviate the DQ week one part two so that would be the first week's discussion questions and then we have week two and then week three so those are our six discussion questions so when you're ready to work on a discussion question you you know you read this um, this uh, information here will be the questions and they're usually pretty open-ended so every student will have a different response and I want you to post your original reply on Monday Tuesday or Wednesday to give people a chance to read and reply to it and then reply to other students posts on between Wednesday to Saturday so when you click on discussion board question you're gonna most likely see a blank you won't see here anything until you create your own thread that way you you can't read other students responses until you participate i have a sample response here which i'll, I'll kind of show you um, and what i how i created this i just clicked on create thread and then uh, after I, I type in the subject and my name and then i in text box i just type in the responses in the text box and then i click submit so what it's going to look like is you're going to have so you should put your first and last name and then uh, you could put the this one you could put the company strategy that you're talking about so if you click on my post that I already have here is my post and this is you know a generous post that I put about this company and also I um, did put a reference of where I pulled some data from and at this point if you like my post after you read my post on Zappos and it's a generous repost uh, you can click reply and then this would be your reply to my post if you had a follow-on question or if you had um, information that you that was pertinent to the discussion you could add that here and then you should also rate the posts so overall rating between one and five stars so students get instant feedback on the quality of their posts um, okay so this is just an example don't I wouldn't re don't reply to my post it's an older post it's just an example of what a post should look like so you get an idea of how things uh, could work okay so there's these 
OK buttons at the bottom to go back. All right, so that's the discussion board. So, so each week you click on the link, you create a forum, and then you uh, answer the discussion questions that are listed here. Uh, then you can go back in later in the week and see the other students' discussion questions and respond to them. Okay. Now, class questions. So here's another area where you can create a thread and you can ask questions. And usually questions are going to be beneficial to the whole class. If it's a private question, please email me. So you can ask a question. When is the final day? And then, so that's the subject and also the question. Now, if you're a student and you read another student's post in here, you're free to answer. So don't always have to wait for me. So, And you can click subscribe in here, so that way you can get anything that's posted in here, you're going to get a response to it. So if I see the post, I'm going to go in and then I'm going to reply. See, see announcements. Or date. I'm going to submit. So that would be me replying to that post. Okay, so I clicked on subscribe. If you're subscribed, this will say unsubscribe. And if you're not subscribed, it will say subscribe. So I'm just going to subscribe so I get any emails that are about this class question thread. I'll get those emails and I'll be able to answer quicker. Okay. And now each week, here's the important part. So each week, I will, in the grade book, I will, I'm going to give you the full 18 points day one for the discussion board. Then each week, I'll review your posts and your contributions. Uh, Blackboard has a great system to help keep me track of who's posting, how frequently you're posting, the amount of words you're posting. So I will, uh, every week, I will review and then I will take points away. So I'll give you the full 18 points in the grade book day one. And then if you underperform in any of the weeks or you miss a discussion board or two, I will start subtracting points away from that total 18 points and leave a comment. So that's how I'm going to grade it. So you get the points up front and I just subtract them as the class goes on. All right. Okay, so that is pretty much the whole class from top of the menu to the bottom of the menu. So what you want to do again, just to re reiterate, read over in the announcements, do these first five things, um, start looking at the discussion board, sign up for the Zoom simulation, and start to, um, you can do practice rounds all you want, but here we're going to, but the, the team competitive rounds are going to run from the, fir um, from the first week all the way to the end of the week, and we do about two rounds a week. So just keep that in mind, maybe you create a, a calendar uh, to get that organized. Okay, so at this point, if you have any other questions about how this class is going to work, you can email me directly or post a, um, a question in the class questions forum about the class. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the class. And it's, it is a fast-paced winter course, but I've designed it in a way that um, it's going to maximize your learning. And I'm rooting for you to do very well in this course, and I'm going to try to, my best to help you along the way to do as best as you can in this class. Um, Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful winter.